Hey YouTube, it's Liana here from Liana Marcel Designs and this video is a mermaid sort of bedroom ideas video and it's a video of the DIY things that I've done in my daughter's room. Now this room is by no means finished so please do not judge anything that does not match the theme. We are still working on this room. It's quite a recent idea she had for a mermaid room so I'm just going to show you some of the things we've done. First of all is her bed canopy. This was a really, really cheap mosquito net from eBay. It was only like £2.49 and free postage from China. And when it came, it didn't have like a space in it. It completely enclosed the bed. So I cut it right up the front. I hang it from the ceiling and I bought this net from a party store. It's a Hawaii sea net for Hawaii parties. I don't know. So I hung that over the top. And then I bought a couple of dried seats, what are they called? Starfish, sorry. Dried starfish hair clips from eBay and just chucked them on the sides. I had some leftover sequins and pearls that I hung from the hook at the top. And this is really cool because as we go to the beach and she collects more things that she likes, we're just going to mount everything onto little brooch backs and pin them onto her canopy. Okay, so that was idea one. Next is her curtains. As you can see, my camera gets really glary if I look at the window, so I'll try not to look at the window too much. This is tutu net that you buy to make little girls tutus. We bought it in two shades of green, two shades of blue, and two shades of like an aqua, aqua, aqua color. And I also bought sequins on a string and petals on a string. So we hung them from the curtain pole in sort of like an order, cut them all the same length, hung the petals in the sequins, and then the tie backs are just two really cheap necklaces from eBay that we just hung on the hooks on the wall, and the necklaces were £4 each. So considering the amount of stuff you get on the necklaces, I think that is really cheap for a necklace. Okay, next up... That was a mug holder. I just spray painted it, rubbed some silver paint to make it look aged, and then she started hanging her bracelets on it. A little basket of seashells. Her cushion on the bed was an old t-shirt that we turned into a cushion cover. She still needs to get a bedding set and we need to do something with her heart cushion. But she's getting a new bed anyway, a double bed, so we've kind of left the bed as it is just now. We bought some twinkly lights because she really doesn't like sleeping in the dark, so this is like her nightlight. And I really like these ones because, I don't know, there's just something really under the sea about them. Okay, this was an Ikea mirror. And um, we go to the beach a lot. We live in Scotland and we live not very near beaches, so we make a point to go to beaches. And when we do, we bring home loads of shells and stones and sea glass. And I like to collect it for things like this. So we spray painted some items blue, we spray painted some gold. Then we glued everything onto the frame and added some broken jewellery and beads and other jazzy things and just made like this treasure trove mirror. I made her a canvas to go with the mirror. Over here, we used Mod Podge and glitter to cover an old candle jar and an old jar as you sort of like stationary holders. Down here, this was two tins that food came from. I crocheted a cover for one and on this one I just used this was t-shirt fabric that was left over from making a cushion cover which I'll show you in a minute. So I glued it on, wrapped a ribbon around the top and glued on a couple of seashells. On our shelves we've just collected this old box from a charity shop, some pebbles that her auntie gave her, candles. We bought these from just a store near us. And these were actually two resin pieces I made years ago that I didn't quite know what to do with. So I mounted them onto a felt covered canvas and they look pretty cool. Okay, over here, we've organized all her like folders and papers and things into white Ikea cardboard files to make everything look neat. Up here, this was an idea from Pinterest. This was a DIY sea glass mobile. So if you want to know how to make something like that, have a look on Pinterest because that's where I got the idea. 
this was an upcycled canvas that I just painted loads of shades of blue, glued on some jazzy stuff and made some felt characters and hot glued them on. Down here, this is a box that her dad made her, just a wooden plain box that I then painted and embellished before I completely coated the whole thing in resin. I absolutely love this box. I love the fact that underneath it is bright pink. It sounds like she's got it full of junk, but inside it's sparkly. So I kind of made that like a bit of a treasure chest. Her little brother made this using a piece of wood, some paint, some things he collected from the beach and some glue. This was another idea. This unit came with pink drawers. They were like bright pink. So I had some oddments of different colours of fabric, but I never had enough of one colour to cover the whole drawer. So I sewed everything together into stripes so that it made quite a lot of fabric. And to dull down the colour a little bit, I put this shimmery voile over the top and then sewed it on. And then we just glued it to the front of all our drawers. Covered an old shoe box with an old jumper. I make a kind of nautical storage box. And this is her toy chest. It was brown. We're still to give her another coat of paint. But we covered the top with white clean fabric. And that's the cushion cover that I made from an old t-shirt. And these two other cushion covers just from eBay. Um, here we have a piece of driftwood that we put some hooks into to hang necklaces from. And we glued on a plastic seahorse and a plastic starfish and just hung it on the wall this is her mermaid boudoir mirror this was a cheap plastic mirror it covered the whole frame with mod podge and tissue paper to make it all crinkly glued on some shells and stars and sea glass then painted everything gold then when it was dry i rubbed on some bronze green and blue paint to sort of age it and finally glued on some glass gems and these are real dried starfish that I found on eBay. Uh, focus. I'm a total eBay addict. If there's anything that I need that I don't know where else to find it, I'll look on eBay. I find lots of bargains on eBay. So these were just added to give this room sort of like an authentic under the sea feel. Um, We got a nice fluffy rug. But we have since decided that we're going to buy the rug in lime green to match our carpet. And I'm going to take this cream one just to make it like more sort of matching and blendy. So that's what we've done at the moment. There's not much else I don't think to show. Oh, this thing here. This is a part of our room we've not done yet. We had a little collection of glass fish that her auntie had given to me little tiny glass fish so I used an old canvas and glued on a couple of like old nail blocks you know those things for sanding acrylic nails covered the whole thing in tissue paper and painted it up like a little underwater scene and then we just stuck all the glass fish in one place and hung it on the wall so I think that's pretty much it for now we've still got lots to do to this room still got some organizing and I, oh, her lampshade. It took me ages to figure out what to do for a lampshade. And this one I actually found second hand. It is made of shell discs. And as soon as I saw it, I knew it was perfect. It's discs made from shell, beaded together with clear beads. And I think it kind of goes with this theme. So if you're doing a mermaid themed room, I hope this kind of gave you some ideas for a more grown-up rather than the Little Mermaid. I know everybody always assumes the Little Mermaid is what every little girl wants, but mine doesn't. She's a bit more grown-up than that. Oh, up here, we just collected um, an ornament from a pet shop that's meant to go in an aquarium. And I think her granny gave her this fish. And these are just some scented candles. This one is... Um, an aqua candle i can't remember the name of the other one but they act as an air freshener in her room she doesn't light them she's too young to be lighting candles but they do actually make her room smell nice when you walk in and when they start to fade i just drip some essential oils in the top of the candles and they're a really good air freshener i mean she's at that age where her room can be a bit stinky because she leaves plates lying about so that is her room for now and if i come up with any more ideas this is going to get upcycled. This is just a wooden file cabinet. I'll post them to my Facebook. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.